The Pope's most heartfelt appeal yet for an end to the war in Ukraine and commemorating the Second Vatican Council 60 years after its opening. These stories and more on this edition of Vatican Express, brought to you by Rome Reports and Food for the Poor. It's never happened before that the Pope has dedicated an entire Angelus Address to a single issue. But that's exactly what happened on October the 2nd, when Pope Francis made his most heartfelt appeal yet for an end to the war in Ukraine. It also came as a big surprise when he addressed Vladimir Putin directly by his title as President of the Russian Federation. Until now, both the Pope and the Vatican have made a point of not calling out either side directly. So this was clearly an exception. Il mio appello si rivolge innanzitutto al Presidente della Federazione Russa, supplicandolo di fermare, anche per amore del suo popolo, questa spirale di violenza e di morte. The Pope didn't stop there. He went on to address what he called an equally confident appeal to the President of Ukraine to be open to serious proposals for peace. He also urged all political leaders to do everything possible to bring an end to the war. La guerra in se stessa è un errore e un orrore. Where were you in 62? October the 11th to be exact. That was when Pope St. John XXIII opened the Second Vatican Council. At a mass in St. Peter's Basilica to commemorate the 60th anniversary of that event, Pope Francis called for a return to the pure sources of love and passion of the Council. He also criticized both traditionalism and progressivism. How many times after the Council did Christians prefer to choose sides in the Church, he asked. Quante volte si è preferito essere tifosi del proprio gruppo anziché servi di tutti, progressisti e conservatori piuttosto che fratelli e sorelle di destra o di sinistra più che di Gesù, ergersi a custodi della verità o a solisti della novità, anziché riconoscere figli umili e grati della Santa Madre Chiesa. Exactly one year ago, Pope Francis announced the first phase of what's called the 16th Ordinary General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops on the theme for a synodal church, communion, participation, mission. The synod was scheduled to close next year, but the Pope has decided it's important not to rush, so there will be two sessions. One will end in 2023 and the second in 2024. I frutti del processo sinodale avviato sono molti, ma perché giungano a piena maturazione è necessario non avere fretta. Confido che questa decisione possa favorire la comprensione della sinodalità come dimensione costitutiva della Chiesa. And finally, Follow Me is more than just a catchy title. It's part of a new art and faith program focusing on the life of St. Peter. The program was inaugurated in October with a high-tech sound and light projection in St. Peter's Square and included a live performance by world-famous Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli. I wish we could continue watching and listening, but that's all we have time for on this edition of Vatican Express. We will be back though, so make sure to join us next time. You're watching a Rome Reports production brought to you by Food for the Poor, providing food, housing, healthcare, and more to people living in extreme poverty. To find out more about Food for the Poor, scan this QR code.